A space gun, sometimes called a Verne gun because of its appearance in From the Earth to the Moon by Jules Verne, is a method of launching an object into space using a large gun or cannon-like structure. Space guns could thus potentially provide a method of non-rocket space launch. It has been conjectured that space guns could place satellites into Earth's orbit although after launch propulsion of the satellite would be necessary to achieve a stable orbit, and could also launch spacecraft beyond Earth's gravitational pull and into other parts of the solar system by exceeding Earth's escape velocity of about 11.2 km per second or 40,320 km per hour 25,050 miles per hour. However, these speeds are too far into the hypersonic range for most practical propulsion systems and also would cause most objects to burn up due to aerodynamic heating or be torn apart by aerodynamic drag. Therefore, a more likely future use of space guns would be to launch objects into near-Earth orbit, from where attached rockets could be fired or the objects could be collected. By maneuverable orbiting satellites. In Project HARP, a 1960s joint United States and Canada defense project, a U.S. Navy 16 in 410 mm 100 caliber gun was used to fire a 180 kg projectile at 3,600 m per second or 12,960 km per hour, 8,050 miles per hour, reaching an apogee of 180 km. 110 miles, hence performing a suborbital spaceflight. However, a space gun has never been successfully used to launch an object into orbit or out of Earth's gravitational pull. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Technical issues. The large G-force likely to be experienced by a ballistic projectile launched in this manner would mean that a space gun would be incapable of safely launching humans or delicate instruments, rather being restricted to freight, fuel or ruggedized satellites. <laughs> Getting to orbit A space gun by itself is not capable of placing objects into stable orbit around the object, planet or otherwise from which it launches them. The orbit is a parabolic orbit, a hyperbolic orbit, or part of an elliptic orbit which ends at the planet's surface at the point of launch or another point. This means that an uncorrected ballistic payload will always strike the planet within its first orbit unless the velocity was so high as to reach or exceed escape velocity. As a result, all payloads intended to reach a closed orbit need at least to perform some sort of course correction to create another orbit that does not intersect the planet's surface. A rocket can be used for additional boost, as planned in both Project HARP and the QuickLaunch project. The magnitude of such correction may be small, for instance, the Startrum Generation 1 reference design involves a total of 0.6 km per second of rocket burn to raise perigee well above the atmosphere when entering an 8 km per second low Earth orbit. In a three body or larger system, a gravity assist trajectory might be available such that a carefully aimed escape velocity projectile would have its trajectory modified by the gravitational fields of other bodies in the system such that the projectile would eventually return to orbit the initial planet using only the launch delta v. Isaac Newton avoided this objection in his thought experiment by positing an impossibly tall mountain from which his cannon was fired. If in a stable orbit, the projectile would circle the planet and return to the altitude of launch after one orbit. See Newton's cannonball. Topic: Acceleration. A space gun with a gun barrel of length L display style L and the needed velocity V E display style V underscore E the acceleration a display style A is provided by the following formula a equals V E two two L 
display style equals frac v underscore e carrot two two l. For instance, with a space gun with a vertical gun barrel through both the Earth's crust and the troposphere, totaling approximately 60 kilometers of length. L display style L and the velocity v e display style v underscore e enough to escape the earth's gravity escape velocity which is 11.2 kilometers per second on earth the acceleration a display style would theoretically be more than 1000 meters per square second which is more than 100 g forces which is about 3 times the human tolerance to g forces of maximum 20 to 35 grams during the approximately 10 seconds such a firing would take theoretically a space gun with a circular ring shaped track could utilize much lower accelerations because its effective track length is infinite with the object going around the ring numerous times though the centripetal acceleration could be enormous as the payload neared escape velocity depending on the track size topic <laughs> <laughs> practical attempts The German V-3 cannon program less well known than the V-2 rocket or V-1 flying bomb, during the Second World War was an attempt to build something approaching a space gun. Based in the Pas de Calais area of France it was planned to be more devastating than the other Nazi vengeance weapons. The cannon was capable of launching 140 kg, 15 cm diameter shells over a distance of 88 km. It was destroyed by RAF bombing using Tallboy blockbuster bombs in July 1944. The V-3 cannon used staged propulsion, which gave it a far greater range. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Project Babylon. The most prominent recent attempt to make a space gun was artillery engineer Gerald Bull's Project Babylon, which was also known as the Iraqi supergun by the media. During Project Babylon, Bull used his experience from Project Harp to build a massive cannon for Saddam Hussein, leader of Ba'athist Iraq. Bull was assassinated before the project was completed. Topic. Super High Altitude Research Project Since Bull's death, few have seriously attempted to build a space gun. Perhaps most promisingly, the U.S. Ballistic Missile Defense Program sponsored the Super High Altitude Research Project in the 1980s. Developed at Lawrence Livermore Laboratory, it is a light gas gun and has been used to test fire objects at Mach 9. Topic. Green launch After cancellation of Sharp, lead developer John Hunter founded the Jules Verne Launcher Company in 1996 and the, currently inactive, Quicklaunch Company. As of January 2017 Hunter's Green Launch is striving to surpass the ballistic altitude world record set by Harp in 1966. Ram accelerators have also been proposed as an alternative to light gas guns. Other proposals use electromagnetic techniques for accelerating the payload, such as coil guns and rail guns. Topic: In fiction. The first publication of the concept may be Newton's Cannonball in the 1728 book A Treatise of the System of the World, although it was primarily used as a thought experiment regarding gravity. Perhaps the most famous representation of a space gun is in Jules Verne's novels From the Earth to the Moon and Around the Moon, loosely interpreted into the early film Le Voyage dans la Lune, in which astronauts fly to the moon aboard a ship launched from a cannon. Another famous example is the hydrogen accelerator cannon used by the Martians to launch their invasion in H. G. Wells' book The War of the Worlds. Wells also used the concept in the climax of the 1936 movie Things to Come. 
The device was featured in films as late as 1967, such as Jules Verne's Rocket to the Moon. In the video game Ultima, Worlds of Adventure 2, Martian Dreams, Percival Lowell builds a space gun to send a spacecraft to Mars. The video game Steel Empire, a shoot-em-up with steampunk aesthetics, features a space gun in its seventh level that is used by the main villain General Styron to launch himself to the moon. In Hanu Rajanyemi's 2012 novel The Fractal Prince, a space gun at the Jana of the Cannon, powered by a 150 kiloton nuclear bomb, is used to launch a spaceship from Earth. The 2015 video game Soma features a space gun used to launch satellites. Gerald Bull's assassination and the Project Babylon gun were also the starting point for Frederick Forsyth's 1994 novel The Fist of God. In Larry Bond's 2001 novella and 2015 novel Lash Up, China uses a space gun to destroy American GPS satellites. In Paper Mario, The Thousand Year Door, a village of Bobo MBS operates a space gun to send Paper Mario and company to the x naughts base on the moon. See also Geostationary orbit, circular orbit 35,786 km 22,236 miles above the Earth used by communications satellites Newton's cannonball Sharp Quick launch Startrum Mass driver Space elevator Launch loop Lightcraft Space fountain Tether propulsion Non-rocket space launch <laughs>